Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Well, it has been a minute. I am sorry about that, but I hope it's been worth the wait because today we're going to talk about Nikki Tutorial's new launch, Nimya. I mean, if you're like me, you have been seeing this blue and orange packaging all over Instagram and you've been like, what the hell? What is taking so long? How come I haven't received mine yet? I know that's how I was feeling because I ordered mine on launch day, which I think was September 23rd, and I received it this past Friday, October, what is that, the 14th? Ugh. You all know I love supporting an indie brand, especially if it is a YouTuber. The amount of work, dedication, time, knowledge, sourcing, resourcing, blah, 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 that goes into launching a line is unbelievable. And the fact that some YouTubers and Instagrammers decide to do it on their own without the help of investors is enormous. I can't imagine that undertaking. Well, that's what Nikki did. It took her a couple years to put this line together. She has four products right now. There's other products in development, but they're not where she wants them to be, so they haven't launched yet. I appreciate that. I appreciate her not just like throwing out every product, then waiting for feedback and then tweaking it. I appreciate her trying to get it right the first time, so we love it, buy it, or repurchase it. And this time she has given us four products. Well, actually five, if you count this super duper adorable fan with three settings. Freaking love this. First, I want you to know that I haven't watched anyone else's reviews. I wanted to really experience this for myself, see what I felt about it, and then talked about it with you. I have only had the opportunity to wear it once. That's why I have a blank canvas for you today. I am going to put it on and we will see how it looks with my only matte coverage foundation because these here, these are glowing products. Like this is supposed to make your skin glow. So for me, I don't wanna put a glowing product underneath a glowing foundation. It's just gonna be way too much glow and I don't need that. Now for those of you who do, you glow baby glow. Right off the bat, I don't think of this as a skincare line. Even though there's a serum, there's a moisturizer primer hybrid, I don't think of these as skincare products. The reason is Nikki is a makeup artist. I've been watching her channel for years and her channel is always focused on makeup. I think I've only seen her do like one or two skincare videos. Like skincare is not what she's putting out there for us. She's giving us a gorgeous, glamorous, over the top, professional, like just the most beautiful looks any makeup artist could do. And that's what I've come to expect from her. I do not expect actual skincare from her. Now, are any of these going to replace my actual skincare items? Nope, not at all. I'm gonna use these after my entire skincare regimen has been done, even on top of my sunscreen. And that's what's given me a little pause, especially about this here. This is the License to Glow Serum. Now, if you look at the back of it, you'll see there is a little bar, it's glass, and you can see how much product you have inside, which is fantastic. I super appreciate that because it is a heavy orange jar. It's nice to know how much product you have left. I believe it's 1.69 ounces, and that is a lot of product, which I super appreciate. It was 31.99 euros, and I should tell you that I bought the whole bundle so that I could get this little fan for free. If you buy the fan separately, I think it's like 12.99 euros. The whole bundle is 98.99 euros with shipping because it did ship from, where does she live? Norway? The Netherlands. Duh. Including the fees and shipping and everything. I think in US dollars, it was around $135. So yeah, for these four slash five products, that's kind of a lot of money. And I wasn't really happy to spend that amount, but I wanted to try these products because like I say, I love Nikki. I followed her for years and I want to try what she's making. So the whole point of this line is it is just supposed to make your makeup last and glow. And very often those two things don't go together. If you wear glowing products, especially like a glowing foundation or a glowing primer, it very often like breaks down your makeup quicker and it doesn't give you an all day last. These products are supposed to actually give you the all day last. Now I will say my confusion with these two, I'm not sure which one should go first because this is a moisturizer primer and it has as of course you've seen all over the internet, the most interesting texture. So it is kind of, well, it's definitely a cream, but it is light and creamy and it almost, it has like a whipped texture to it. So I really appreciate the texture of being like a moisturizer. However, if I were to go in with a serum over my moisturizer, that's not how I normally do things. And in skincare, you think of putting things on thinnest to thickest. That's like your basic, normal way of doing things. But with this serum, I'm not sure because I honestly don't want an overall glow all over my entire face. So I think I'm just gonna use this in targeted areas. 
So what do I want to do? Do I want to put this on first or the Wear It All Begins cream? Well, it's called Wear It All Begins, so I guess I'm going to start with that. All right, so this is the amount that I have. I'm just going to rub it on my hands and put it all over my face. Now, it is scented. So for those of you who do not like scented products, you will not enjoy this. I don't mind scented products. Like I said, I wore this once before. I didn't feel or smell the scent as the day went on. I'm going to add just a little bit more because I felt that the scent dissipated. And if things are scented, like overly scented or rose scented, I will smell that on myself all day long and it makes me mental. This, I didn't have that problem. So the Wear It All Begins cream was $25.99 in euros. And as you can see, just putting it on my skin, it wakens it up and alivens it instantly. Now it does have mica in here. And I'm not going to use this as like a, just slapping some moisturizer on my face type of deal because well, I don't need my entire face to have kind of like a false glow to it. I like my skin to actually glow from the skincare products I'm using. So this I will only use underneath my makeup. Although if you have dull skin or if you just want to give yourself that extra glow, I would totally use this. It feels nice. I'm not actually feeling it on my skin. It sinks in nicely and the glow is there. Now I didn't need to use it much. As you can tell, I barely made a dent in this. So I think it's going to last a while. This here, how big is this? It's 1.52 ounces or 45 mLs, which is a decent amount of product. The packaging is pretty. It is a little big and a little clunky. I don't know if it's something that I would take if I was traveling, but let's face it, I'm not traveling, so who cares? Before I go in with a License to Glow Serum, I'm going to put on the Brr Brr Cooling Eye Stick. At first I was like, I don't need that, who cares? But it was part of the bundle. I wanted to have everything so I could try it. And I will tell you, after I used it just once under my eyes, my concealer looked better than it's been looking lately. I've been getting some dryness, which is new to me, and I'm kind of annoyed by it. I've been kind of mixing up my concealers, trying to get the right thing going along with my moisturizers. This here worked really nicely. All right, well, let's get this on. This is $18.99 in euros. So I don't know, what is that in American dollars? Like $23 or something like that? It feels cooling, which it is supposed to but it also has this very like light smoothing effect, almost like if it was like a silicone or dimethicone based product, but it's not. I looked all over the ingredient list and it did not have those ingredients, which was nice because sometimes I just don't want an entire face full of silicone or dimethicone. But right off the bat, I just, oh God, I could just keep going back and forth. And you can do it on your upper lid also, just pat it in. And you do, you just get that cooling sensation. And it's not menthol that they use because I cannot stand when there's any sort of like menti or minty or menthol -y product in there because it's just irritating to my skin. But this year I think they used xylitol, which is like a common ingredient for making a cooling sensation. Oh, I like this. I really do like this. And I didn't expect to, so bonus. And let's see here. If I roll this all the way up, how much product are we getting? Um, yeah, that is a good amount of product. I mean, considering like how big this is, how thick and wide it is, it's going to last me quite some time. Rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> All right, the License to Glow Serum. Now, this is one that if I would have purchased everything separately, I wouldn't have purchased this. And I will show you why. Because it's blue. Like, I do not need the gimmick of having coloring added to skincare. I just... No, thank you. No. But I thought, all right, let's give it a shot. Now, when I rub it in, obviously I put way too much. I would never even put that much on my face. But as I rub it in, you see the blue goes away. It does leave behind this gorgeous glow. I mean, look at from like one yucky hand to the next, like this is glowy and really pretty. So I'll give that a second to dry down. Now, this does also have mica in it. So if you look at it, I don't know if you can see. Let's try this one more time. There is like a pearlescence to the product. Those are mica. However, when I was testing it out and like really moving it around and looking at it in my hand, I couldn't actually see the pieces of mica. I wasn't seeing bits of glitter, nothing like that. So I get why the mica is in there to add like that extra boost of like glitter and gloss and shine and glow, which is fine as long as I don't have to see any of the actual sparkle pieces, which I don't. So thank you very much. You know me, I want to glitter and glow and sparkle and shine, but sometimes, sometimes I need to reel it in. All right, so because I'm only going to use this in targeted areas, I'm only going to use a little bit. I'm going to use it on the high points of my cheeks. 
give it right here. I'm going to use a little bit on my chin and I'm going to use a little bit in the center of the forehead. Now, normally I don't really highlight this area, but because I'm gonna be wearing like a matte foundation, I don't wanna look matte all over. So I wanna see if these products are gonna allow me to glow through a matte foundation. All right, so the foundation I'm gonna be using today from Pure, it's the 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie. I think this is the shade MP1, if that's a shade. I'm going to do most of my makeup and I will come back to you and we'll see what we think. So I'll see you in just, and I'm back. Now you may notice in my next video that I look exactly the same. That's because I'm filming something else inside of this video for my Friday video. You'll see, just show up on Friday and you'll see what we're talking about. Anyway, let's get back to this. So I have one last product to use from Nimia, and this is the Set It and Forget It Setting Spray. Now for me, setting sprays are not always a necessity. Sometimes I'm not gonna be wearing my makeup for like a long time where I really need it to hold. And sometimes I've just done my makeup in a way that it will last really well. But then there are days when I just want my makeup to last no matter what. And that's when I use setting sprays. Now you know, Mm. You know, one of my favorites is the Airbrush Flawless Finish. No, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. So when I was comparing them, I noticed that my Airbrush Flawless is 3.3 ounces, I believe. And the one from Nimia, the Set It and Forget It, is 3.1 ounces. Now this is 21.99 euros, and I think that this is around $35. I can't remember, but at 21.99 euros, I think this is a good value. I think it probably works out to maybe around 25-ish dollars. What am I, a human currency calculator? It's just what I'm gonna assume. So let's put this on and see what we think. Now, like I said, I have worn this once before. Now I get to use my favorite thing, the fan. <laughs> it has three settings. Normally I use this hand fan here, but to have this little power one, oh, it's delightful. Oh, it feels so good. It dries so quickly. Done. Now I actually love the spray on here. Can you see this mist? I mean, so light and fine, no big droplets. Now finding something so nice like this, it does have a scent. If you don't like scents, you are not gonna like this. However, for me, I noticed it dissipated after a while. I didn't notice it later in the day. Now the Set It and Forget It's biggest claim is that it has the most PVP in it. PVP is the ingredient that actually makes your makeup stay last all day long. I actually think it's a main ingredient in hairspray. <laughs> yeah, that's where setting spray actually originated. Back in the day, drag queens actually used hairspray to set their makeup. That's how they held their flawless faces. Uh, luckily today we have other products that cosmetic chemists have made safe for our skin so as not to ruin it. And this here I'm hoping is going to be as great as Nikki says because sometimes I just need my face to stay. Now you saw earlier I used the brr brr cooling eye stick and I think my under eyes look nice. I'm still having a little problem with my mask, with um, my concealer. I do need to like change it because of the season. That just happens like, yay, I'm aging and my skin changes with the season. Time for a different concealer. But right now I think that this made a very nice foundation for my concealer to go over the top. I'm really, really happy with it. Now, when it comes to these two, I don't honestly think that they actually made the glow come through in my foundation. Now I showed you, I used my only matte foundation, which I don't normally use matte foundations. They are not my favorite, but for the purposes of trying these out, this is what I used because I wanted to see if the glow would come through. Overall, I don't think the glow is coming through. What I really want is performance. I want for these products to hold my makeup and make it last all day long. Now, does it look nice? I think it does look nice. I mean, you tell me, do you think it looks nice? Yeah, I think it's a pretty good makeup day. And that's kind of the point. Sometimes you just have to try products over and over again. Like maybe it would work better with my Luminous Silk, or maybe it would work better with my Christian Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I mean, there's so many it would maybe work with. Maybe with my Essential from Girl On, who knows? I'm gonna keep trying these because I want them to work. Let's face it, she didn't formulate these in the hopes that they would work. She formulated them over a couple years and finally came up with a formulation that worked. So you know, I'm gonna keep trying these until I find the right combination that works for me. Now I didn't have any problems with it. My makeup didn't bunch, it didn't like roll around, it didn't pill, it went on really nicely. So that part, 
great. Did it give me extra glow? I don't think so. However, the other side of the coin is your face sometimes needs to warm up your makeup and sometimes takes an hour or two for it to really like all kind of settle in and come together and then your glow really starts happening. So we'll see what happens as the day goes on. But because I have used these once before, I will say so far the heroes for me are the setting spray. I really do like this using it as a primer. As a moisturizer, it's not my thing. I already have skincare and this Berber cooling stick. I really like how it's working for under my eyes and making it smooth, keeping them hydrated and keeping like my concealer from getting weird or cracking or doing any of that unpleasant stuff. And of course this little fan. I freaking love this little fan. I've been using these hand fans from the Asian grocery store near me for years. They're a dollar. I buy them 10 at a time. I use them like this and they have dried me nicely for years and years and years, but it's kind of bulky and to keep it around my makeup table, well, sometimes it's on the floor, sometimes it's in a bin, sometimes I can't find it and they do rip after a while. So having this tiny little fan that puts out a ton of air that'll sit right on my makeup table because it does have this handy dandy little stand that it will stand in and just sit nicely. I mean, how cute is that? So right now I'm digging everything except for the serum. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do with this, how I'm gonna use it. If any of you have this serum, tell me what you're doing with it, how you're using it, or if you don't really like it. It's honestly the most expensive thing in the line, which is a little annoying at almost 32 euros, but there's a lot of product here. So if you can tell me how you're enjoying it, maybe I'll give it a try. You know, they did mention that you can add it to your foundation. Maybe I'll try that. So mixing it on my back of my hand or on my little hand palette, mixing the two of them together, maybe adding the glow to the matte foundation. I'm gonna give that a try. I think that might be a good thing. Oh, and like all the other packaging from companies that I love, you open this up and there's information on the inside. There's even a QR code at the bottom. It tells you all sorts of nice little handy dandy need to knows. Do it. Just open up your friggin' boxes. All right, friends, that's it. I want to thank you for joining me on my journey with Nimia by Nikki Tutorials. If you haven't purchased any of the products from Nimia yet, but you are curious, go ahead and leave me a comment down below or slide into my DMs on Instagram like some of you have been doing. I love talking to you all, no matter where you are. And to my new subscribers, I wanna thank you so much for being here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. There is plenty more shit show where this came from. All right, friends, thank you so much for being with me and I'll see you real soon. Mm -hmm.